Hi, this is Ingrid London with TechCrunch, and I'm here in Palo Alto at Nest's offices. Now, Nest has been very hush-hush about what they have been going to launch next after their thermostat. Today, we are going to have a nice, close look at Nest Protect. So, Matt, we've heard that the Nest Protect is as easy as one, two, three to install and use. So, you are going to show us how that works, it's right? It's totally trivial. We're going to do it right here. Okay, cool. Here, here's the, uh, the trim plate that mounts to the wall. You just need to attach four screws. I have my handy nest, nest screwdriver here. And I'm just going to start screwing in. Pretty much just putting four screws in the wall. Okay. The screw that I'm using is actually custom designed by us. Really? So it's designed to go easily into drywall, into wood, into plaster, and uh, into concrete. We actually specially designed the threading it, again, talking about detail. So, uh -huh. like, a, like as we we uh, did the thermostat, we realized that you know everyone's home has different wall materials, and uh -huh. these are the kind of details that we sweat to make sure that their install experience is really easy. This is going to be great. We're, we're, we're going to have a Nest Protect at eye level in the office from now on. Yeah, it's really good because I hear you guys do barbecues in here. We do. Yeah. We we do weekly Wednesday barbecues in for the office. team. Right. <laughs> it's good for culture. <laughs> We are we're ready to go. So okay. I'm going to get our brand new Nest Protect straight from the factory here. Amazing. And I'm going to attach it to the wall. And okay, I'm going to pull, pull, pull the tab. This is. That's it. That's it. Ready. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press or wave to cancel. So. 10. Is it self-test? So it's counting down. Seven, uh, but six, I don't actually five, want to run the test. It's pretty loud. Four, so I'm just going to wave at it. Three, canceled. Yes. And normally this would be on your ceiling, and you'd be waving at the ceiling. Uh, uh -huh. But, but uh, yeah, it works anywhere. Okay. So, Matt, take us through some of the cool features of the Nest Protect um, for smoke protection. So normally you'd think of a smoke, smoke alarm as something that's really boring that you never think about, right? Unless yeah. it's going off in the middle of the night. But we try to add emotional value to it, something that you interact with every day. So a great example of that is path light. Mm -hmm. So uh, at night when you're going to the bathroom or going to get a drink of water and it's dark in your room, uh, Nest Protect will light your way. It has a beautiful white glow that beautiful. kind of illuminates your floor. Yeah. A, a lot of times your smoke alarm will go off because you're cooking in the kitchen, yeah. you know, you're baking, and in all honesty, like that's totally preventable. The alarm should never have gone off there. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we called it, we built a feature called Heads Up. Mm -hmm. So what Heads Up does is before you actually get to the alarm, they'll say Heads Up. There's smoke in the kitchen, and it gives you a chance to turn the exhaust fan on or put the lid on the, ba the bacon. Those kinds of things. Yeah. Or can you can you wave and, and get it to stop? <laughs> yes. Well, right? So at any time when the alarm is going off or it's heads upping, you just wave at Nest and it'll hush the alarm. Uh huh. Now at night, there's something. I you have a feature where. It's, it's the, 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 the warning that something is wrong or not wrong. Yeah. What, what happens with so, that? So today, you go to sleep at night, and for a lot of people, your alarm goes off at 3 o'clock in the morning because your batteries are low. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the most annoying thing possible. Yeah. So one, we don't do that. Yeah. So six months ahead of time before your battery is low, we send a notification to your phone. Right. Uh, as you get closer... Let's say I'm ignoring my notifications, which I do. Yeah, if, if you ignore it. So every day when you turn the lights off, mm -hmm. uh, Nest Protect will glow green. Right. Then you know everything's okay. Right. Uh, if you're at kind of the end of the battery life, when you turn the lights off, your light will go yellow. Right. And that lets you know there's something up. And if you wave at it, it'll tell you what's wrong. Right. Heads up, your batteries are low. Or heads up, your sensors are expired. Those kinds right. of things. Great. And now you've got the CO detection on there, too, which is just brilliant because, you know, obviously you can't smell CO. You can't see it um, if it's, right. it's in your house. Yeah, CO is totally odorless. You have no yeah. idea it's in your home. So if Nest Protect sees a little bit of CO, it'll give you the same heads up saying, Emergency. There's carbon monoxide in the hallway. Move to fresh air. As the carbon monoxide builds up, it'll go to an alarm state just like it would. Right. That's wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much. Excellent. I'm here with Tony Fidel, the CEO and co-founder of Nest. Thank you. Thanks, Ingrid. Um, so we're talking about this quite beautiful new product, um, which you're launching. Uh, now tell me, why of all of the appliances, of all the things we could disrupt in the home, why have you decided to go for the fire alarm? For the smoke and CO detector. Yeah. Uh, really clearly, it was when I looked at it on the ceiling, when I was lying in bed, I'm looking up and I'm going, 
what does this thing do? Is it going to wake me up tonight? Is it going to, is it actually going to alarm properly? Every time I thought about the smoke alarm, I didn't know anything about it. It was this strange product on my ceiling that just annoyed me. It never really was there for safety. And then when I started asking my wife about it, and I talked to Matt about it, and I talked to other people at the company, everyone had a story, a really negative story about a product that's supposed to keep you safe, except it was annoying. It was annoying and annoying and annoying. And I was like, wait a second. There are 30 to 40 million of these things sold a year. Why don't we like those? Why don't we like them? We appreciate them. We appreciate everything else we buy in volume, usually. We need to appreciate these. So that was the kind of the genesis of the whole, the whole idea for um, doing uh, the Nest Protect. And then after that, we were able to show that we didn't just couldn't just make a better one. We could make one that was really emotional, something that people would really embrace and like in their home, not just have to buy because the government tells them they have to. Right now, it's got that beautiful. It's got a voice. It's 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 it's, it's motion. It's got a motion sensor, and it's got a voice that talks to you. Um, do you think that um, this is going to be the kind of thing that people view as a gimmick or something that's really useful? Well, I think, you know, people have to try it for themselves. Yeah. But in, 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 in our case, you know, when we think about what most smoke detectors and CO detectors do today, they just beep at you. Yeah. Either they beep sl slowly, yeah. and so you have to try to find them when the batteries are dead, mm -hmm. or they beep long time. But they don't do anything else than beep. Mm -hmm. We think that you need to have a little bit more of a UI. You don't need to have to put a a whole display on it and all these other things. But you should have some kind of feedback of what's going on and yeah. why can't it be a friendly voice. Yeah. So we don't think this is a gimmick. This is about giving you real information, mm -hmm. not just beeps. And we think people will appreciate that. Now, I know you guys have done some pretty amazing things with how in your original thermostat product, you have, um, it links up with the app. Um, and you've got wonderful kind of synergies going on there. Can you talk to me a little about a little bit about what you're doing with your uh, with with the mobile component for this. So yeah, absolutely. So the f the first thing we did was we rewrote our application to support both products at yeah. once. So what we did was tear it all up. We listened to all of our customers' uh, likes and dislikes about our current app, and then rewrote it all from scratch for both Android and iOS, and also our web browser app. And so through that, we were able to now embrace Nest Protect as, as, as an equal to the thermostat in the app. Mm -hmm. People can pair it, they do all those things. But inside the app itself, it gives you information you've never had about your smoke and cedar detector. When it was last tested, what the battery life is, it gives you messages when there's alerts, whether it's low battery or it's an emergency alert, or even more than that. And obviously even when you're not at home, which is even more useful. Exactly, yeah. just like the, like the Nest Learning Thermostat, mm -hmm. you can control it, you yeah. can get status, you can get status about your Nest Protect in your home, or multiple Nest Protects. We try to make it really simple, one place to access all the things about your home from Nest. It's not just about Nest separate, each product working separately, but it's also about them working together in a unified fashion, making it easier for you. Yeah. Now, um, can you just tell me a little bit about I, what I really liked about it um, when I've seen the demo is, is this um, idea of it being motion sensitive. So you've got a, a light that turns on when you, when you turn off the light. Path and, light, yeah. Yeah, the path light and the, um, the waving. Um, it's, is this um, something that you may be looking to incorporate into more things in the future? Well, when you look at what some, other sensors, it's uh, this well, idea so, of sensors. Very so interesting. we, you know, we we put a lot of sensors inside of uh, the Nest thermostat mm -hmm. because we, you know, for auto away and for things like turning on the display, turning on mm -hmm. when you walk by it. Mm -hmm. That's the same. We got a lot of really great emotional feedback from our customers saying we like these kinds of features. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, what are the simple sensors we can put inside of Nest Protect to kind of evoke those same emotions? And that was one was path light, right? When you walk underneath it, it gently glows at night. Mm -hmm. And so when you do that, you need a motion sensor, you need a light sensor to know when it's light or dark in a room. Um, so those are additional sensors you would you would never think to add into a smoke or CO detector but was really important to say Nest is there to be, uh, is keeping you safe mm -hmm. and, and protecting you, not just when there's a smoke or CO event, but also at night when you could stumble over a kid's toy in the hallway. So we added extra sensors. People go, that's crazy. Why would you mm -hmm. do that? No, we think those are really important. And, you know, 
over time, like we've done um, with the, the, the thermostat, we were able to add other software features mm -hmm. um, that we didn't even realize till after our customers had it and gave us feedback about it. So we hope that maybe over time, these things are Wi-Fi connected just like the thermostat, and we can bring more software features to them through our automatic software update that comes for free when you buy the product. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do We didn't mm -hmm. with the Nest Protect sensors, but we wanted to put them in there because it's, we, it seems like there's going to be a lot of great things we can do with them in the future. That's great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ingrid.